Okay, hopefully you took a break uh, before you just started to jump right into this second video. Remember, this is where we left off. We talked about how uh, the unit circle really comes from our special right triangles, knowing that the hypotenuse in a special right triangle can equal one on the unit circle. Okay, we're going to use this and continue to, to refer back to this as we, we look a little bit more at the exact unit circle. Uh, so I did share with you inside of today's classroom a blank one that looks like this. I'm going to be referencing this blank unit circle quite a bit. Um, but just a couple of key characteristics here that you probably want to make sure that you write down. You know, first of all, this is zero degrees, right? Zero. And we have the ordered pair one zero. We talked about that a lot. All right, here is 90 degrees. And we have the point zero, 01. Over here, 180 degrees. And we have the point negative 10. And down here, we have 270, which is the point zero, negative 1. Okay, zero, negative one. Now what you have to remember, and um, I'm gonna just try and draw this um, with a different color. Let's try green, right? This is typically our, uh, our Y axis. This one, I'm gonna draw just a little bit under, is typically the X, right? X comma Y, when we're looking on graph, that's how our points are related. And so in the first quadrant over here, they both are positive, right? Positive and positive for X and Y. When I get over to the second quadrant, I have a negative comma positive. When I get down here to the third, we have negative comma negative for both ordered pair. And in our last quadrant, the X values are positive, but the Y values are negative. That will help you fill in what some of these sine, cosines, and other pieces of information are. Don't forget on the unit circle, we're going to have cosine and sine. Which one comes first? Hopefully, you remember that it's cosine. Just think of the alphabet. C comes before S. So cosine comes before sine in the ordered pair. Now, we're going to focus on this first set right here, 30, 45, 60, because if you can learn this quadrant, if you can somehow learn or obtain this to memory and understand where it comes from, then I've got good news. You will know the entire unit circle based off of this very first quadrant, okay? And again, I'm going to go back real fast here. We did two of them already. Right, we already did two, we explained them, okay? So I'm gonna highlight them in separate slides. Starting with 30 degrees, okay? We label 30 degrees out here. It's this angle down here, right? And we talked about that if this is 30, this side over here would have to be one half, and this side would have to be square root three over two which is where we get this information from, okay? The cosine of 30 is the square root of three over two. The sine of 30 is one half. So that unit circle has this ordered pair, square root three over two, and then one half. The second one comes from 45. And again, we did this on the other slide, right? Here's the 45 degrees. And if that's one, we said each side had to be the square root of two over two, meaning on the unit circle, we get square root of two over two for the X, square root of two over two for the Y, which relates to cosine and sine. Then we did the 60, which would be this angle right down here, 60. If that was one, that made this one the one half, if this was the one half, we had square root three over two, which is how they get the ordered pair. One half this way, square root of three over two going up. 
sine and cos, I'm sorry, cosine and sine. So those three right over here are the most important ones on the entire unit circle, okay? What I would possibly fill in is this line right here, right? This was my 30 degree. And then I would put this information right there, square root of three over two, one half. I'm gonna try and write it. It's gonna look a little small, but we'll get it. Square root of three over two. The second one here is 45 degrees. Square root two over two square root of 2 over 2. And again, it is over here on the right-hand side, maybe a little bit easier to see. Should do this way. 30 degrees right there. 45 degrees is the second line. 60 degrees is the third. And then we get back to the top where we had 90, which we already filled out, and then 0. So and the nice part is that if you can somehow remember these, right, and, and if you forget, okay, if you forget, focus on the 30, okay? This 30 degree angle is right there. And if I were to draw this triangle and drop it down, if this is one, that makes this side one half because it's opposite the 30, okay? But if you can get these down, square root of three over two comma one half, then it just flips. One half comma square root of three over two. Square root of two over two, square root of two over two. You're gonna know the rest of the, the, the entire unit circle. How? Well, let's look. If you look, okay, I'm gonna try and erase a few of my green marks over here. I wanna show you something and see if it makes sense by, let's use a blue marker. Let's take this 30 angle right here and I'm gonna draw a straight line. Notice, what happens at that point? What coordinate is the same at this point? Because it has to be the same over here. Your Y coordinate is the exact same on this one. It has to be one half. And if that's one half, that means my cosine is gonna be similar to this one, right? I went positive direction this way for X, now I gotta go the negative direction for X to get the opposite or the negative square root of three over two. If this was 30 degrees going that way, how far do you think it is away from here? It's also 30 degrees. And what's 30 degrees away from 180? That, my friends, would be 150. Similar process with the next set. These two are on the exact same y axis, like they're on the same y. So the y has to still be square root of 2 over 2 over, on this side, square root of 2 over 2, but the x value is negative square root 2 over 2. That was 45 degrees up. This one's 45 degrees that way. So 45 away from 180 makes this one 135. And then the same pattern for the last one. They're on the same Y. So it's gonna have to be square root of three over two. And instead of it being a positive one half, we went backwards or negative one half. Okay, that's at 60, which means it's 30 away from 90. So if I go 30 more, I get 120. And this process, you can draw all of these lines, and I'm not saying you should, but you could draw all of these lines to connect where the points are and either keep the X the same or change the Y and vice versa, which is why if you know this first quadrant, you actually know all of them. Okay, and notice, First one was 30, then 45, then 60, then 90. All right, then we got 120, then we had 135, then we had 150, then 180. So there's a pattern that I, I hope you are starting to see. Let's try that um, by trying to find a few of these ones. Um, 
you know, let's let's really focus on letter A. I'm not worried about this one at the moment. Letter B and letter C. Take a minute and see. Don't, you know, really don't go to a calculator here. See if you can't use this idea of going to a unit circle and helping you figure out what those are. All right, cosine of 135. All right, we know that, again, this up here is 90. This is 185. All right, so it's going to have to... 180, not 185, 180. All right, so 135 is 45 degrees away. 45, so that's this 45 degree one right in there, which means if I drew it right, it should have been right there. So the ordered pair here is the negative square root of 2 over 2, comma, square root 2 over 2. They're asking us, though, to find the cosine of this angle, right? Because this is going 135 degrees that way. Cosine comes from the first one. So the cosine of 135 is the negative square root 2 over 2. The sine of negative 300, the sine of negative 300. So now we start here and we go 300 degrees the opposite direction. So this is 270, 300, 3. I wanted to go to 300. I went too far. No. So 270 and the negative 300 is right there. What's the sign at that point right here? Square root 3 over 2. Last one. Let's try the cosine of 210. The cosine... I'm going to erase some of my lines so that they're not as confusing, hopefully. We want to go the uh, cosine of 210. So we know that we're going to have to go, right? We know that we're going to have to automatically go to pass the 180. So positive 210 means counterclockwise. There's 180. And I got to go 30 more degrees this way. 30 more degrees, okay? So if I'm trying to figure out which one this is related to, notice that it's 30 degrees away from the x-axis, okay? So it's going to relate back to this right here. That's the line it shares. But both of them in this quadrant are negative. So negative square root of 3 over 2, comma, negative 1 half. Which one is the cosine? The first one. So the negative square root of 3 over 2. A lot of what you're going to practice today is trying to go through this. What I would highly, highly recommend is that you take some time to fill out all of these different spots now on your unit circle, right? 30 degrees here becomes 210, right? 45 becomes 225. And then we've got 240. And then 270 is here at the middle. Then we've got 300. 315 and 330 degrees. Those are the main ones that we're going to use and look at. You should be able to fill out the coordinates for each of those. Now, this is going to take a lot of practice. It's going to take a lot of patience, and it's going to take just a lot of time and effort on your part to really understand how this is working. But if you can focus on this part over here and knowing your degrees, where they all, you know, where they match up, it's going to make it a little bit easier to use this unit circle. So make sure that you have access to completing that unit circle. If you have any questions, please make sure that you reach out. Otherwise, until next time, folks, stay safe.